I'm going to do a quick video, um, see what happens when you put new spark plugs in the car, if it changes or alters the fuel trends. Um, what I'm going to do, I got, um, I still only have auto lights, the rhythm for this car, but I'm, what I'm going to do, I'm going to let it reach normal operating temperature at 180 degrees going to close the loop. And I'm going to uh, take a note of the fuel trims for that cell at the idle and then at 1500 RPM and then at um, 3000 RPM and see if they alter. So let me let this car warm up and I'll update shortly. I'm not going to do any driving videos as far as with the, the uh, alters of fuel sales, uh, fuel trims that way. But um, I do want to see if it does it at idle. Because uh, if it does it at idle, more than likely it'll probably alter it under low conditions also. But um, I'm not going to go in that in depth with this video. But I just want to make something real quick. So let me let this warm up. Alright, I got the uh, pits pulled up. Sorry, my camera straightened out. <clears throat> I got quite a few things pulled up. Um, there's no DTC stored. Uh, there's a we got the calculated load value. Let me see if I can zoom in on there. So the, the calculated load value currently at uh, 665 RPM is going to be about 28, 30 percent. Um, temperatures at 190 right now. Short term is at two. Um, long term is at negative three nine. And uh, da, 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 I don't need the intake air sensor. Well, let's keep it anyway. Uh, so we got an intake air temperature of 113. Now, the bottom down here in the equivalent ratio, the, the stoichiometric is going to be uh, 1. That's the uh, ideal conditions. And anything below that is going to be a rich condition. Anything above that is going to be a, a lean condition. Uh, so you don't have to worry too much about the bottom on the oxygen sensor voltage. So I'm going to show you what happens when you add fuel, how it will richen up the equivalence ratio sensor there, uh, lambda. Uh, so how it can alter that value of one. So when I add fuel, it should go really low, which is going to be rich. One second. Uh, better yet, I want to create a lean condition. Let's pull the vacuum line off. And the uh, numbers here, uh, where is it at? Down at the bottom should go high. So I'm pull this breather line off. The numbers should start, yep, it's going higher right now. The, showing the lean condition so I don't have to put any fuel in there to uh, create a rich condition for you so you get the idea alright let me uh, get it back in the car and rev it up and see how these fuel trims alter currently let me just pull I'm just going to look down here so currently we are close to one and uh, where's the long term I'm going to highlight the ones we're going to look at oh shucks My VCI fell out. Let me see if I can. No, I'm already set back up. Am I? Uh, nope. Let me get set back up. All right, I ain't got all the stuff set back up from last time, the PIDs, but let's. Um, uh, I got RPM and everything down here. I got short term, long term. Uh, let's see here. Let's pull one more. Air temperature. So let's see what it is currently at 192 degrees. We got, oh man, I forgot this auction sensor, the main ones. Oh, so we got sensor voltage. So let's give it a little bit of gas here. So currently at 660 RPM, we have a long term of negative three, so it's taking away about 3% of fuel. Uh, the idle conditions also are at uh, close to one. It's fluctuating between uh, about, what, two what, thousands, if I recall, is that right? 
ten thousand, yeah, about two, about eight thousandths. And uh, let's see here. So let's give it a little bit of RPM. Let's go to about fifteen hundred. Still, so it's taking away still three percent. At about fifteen hundred, let's go about three thousand. So at 27% load, 3,000 RPM, we've got a long term of 1.6. Back down to a negative 3, close to 4. Alright, let's put some plugs in there. For the... Uh, for your sake of being consistent, I am going to um, put the coils in the exact same spot. Is it uh, focusing on it? This is the spark plugs that came out. It's number four there. So here's the plugs. I'm gonna put out lights. Like I said, I mean, this is the only thing they had in stock for this car, so it'll work perfectly fine. So we got new plugs in there. I'm gonna let this joker warm up. And let me get my pids set back up. So I got everything set back up here. Uh, I think with the exception of one pit I'm missing, but the main thing we wanna look at is the uh, fuel trims and the initial sensor readings. So it's currently at idle. Uh, what we're at? So we've got to calculate a little thirty percent. The uh, long term is still at negative three nine. The short term seemingly to be uh, is altering the fuel and adding about two percent. Uh, and take air is one oh nine. We still have our near lambda value. So let's, um, strange. I remember with the other plugs in there, they were at a calculated load of around like 27%, but the throttle bot, not throttle bot, but the throttle position sensor normally determines that. So let's, um, let me give it a little bit of gas, go about 1500 RPM. See where it is. So we got a long term of zero, short term of negative two, negative three. Let's go about the twenty five hundred. Still at negative. So it's negative 0.8 now. Let's go about 3,000. Because I remember last time it was around 3. Because it was uh, trying to add 3% fuel. Now, with the uh, new plugs in there, around 3,000. It's around 1.6. Yeah, 
you know, and a lot of this could be because of untrained fuel cells also, so, I mean, they haven't learned its value, but, I mean, I'm just, I'm just curious to see if it make any initial alterations. So what I'm going to do, uh, probably just review the footage from earlier, because I really didn't look at it, I'm just kind of going as I'm doing this video as I'm going. So right now it's taking away uh, four percent. Hmm, let me review it right quick. One second. All right. So looking back at the footage, the old plugs were idled at negative three. Now. Uh, it's long term negative three it was with the previous plug now it's at negative four seven so that's strange i mean i wonder if it a lot has to do with um steel could be untrained fuel cells uh and it's probably still just adding the same amount of fuel from before but now it's just compensating uh, being that it's unlearned because the gap is close, close than the worn out gap on the older plugs. Now I didn't measure the gap, but naturally the gaps are going to in, in, increase as the plugs start to age. So this is uh, pretty interesting here. I mean it went up one point, but there's nothing that's going to be out of uh, tolerance to where to call the check engine light to come on. Uh, but then again, it could be, like I said, the, the car probably need to be driven the fuel cells need to be learned and need to go through its adaptions. But uh, that's pretty interesting. I wonder if any other brands will alter this. Maybe, maybe not. But my first theory about it is what I'm sticking with is being that these are, these are trained. These are uh, trained for the old plugs and not for the current ones. Hmm. So, I know I could have scoped this and looked at the more in-depth sequence of the uh, firing. However, I'm not a firm believer in looking at the uh, firing event, primarily because this is so... The, the whole exchange or the dwell time, the charging, is... I would imagine is solely determined based off the RPM. I mean, naturally, if the RPM is lower you're going to have a longer charge time uh, before the uh, spark event is is uh, is required so I mean as and naturally as the RPM increases you'll have a rapid event with a lesser charge time so I mean I wouldn't imagine putting a uh, scope to it looking at it and see if, like you know trying to decipher what's going on within that is going to make a make any type of a change maybe the KV would have been different um, could but at the same time it's still determined upon the RPM I mean the, the KV will change based on the resistance of the plug also and the, the brand so yeah that could be a thing um, but I don't know um, but yeah this is I don't want to go on a tangent but we see that putting a new plug in here, Autolite, uh, altered the long-term fuel trim by 1%. You know, is that a good thing, bad thing? Am I right? I mean, is it because uh, the cell hasn't been learned yet and adapted to the new plugs? It could be. But, um, but yeah, I, just always, I was always curious about this and what would happen, so yeah, I'm putting my eyeballs on it. So it's a possibility putting certain plugs in there I don't think will create a higher will go outside those tolerances what we'll call a check engine light but it may be questionable. Hell I know uh, Ford had a revised spark plug for the uh, was it the Triton motor if I recall because of the infamous misfires correct me if I'm wrong but, um, but yeah here we go this is it I'm on to the next project. Peace.